What's going on guys? Hope you guys are doing great and welcome to Roman Percussion. My name is Will Roman. On this channel I'll be uploading different instructional videos as well as behind the scenes vlogs. If you're interested, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. Leave a like on this video and also comment down below. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a comparison on three different bongo heads. The LP Rawhide head, the Remo New Skin Synthetic head, and the Remo Fiber Skin 3. You guys are going to let me know which one you think sounds the best. So alright guys, let's go. All right, so let's get into the differences between these three heads. Got here the LP Rawhide Skin. This is gonna be the standard head you're gonna pretty much find on any set of bongos that you purchase from LP. So this head, as far as tonal quality, um, it's gonna be a very natural and like warm kind of sound. Um, as far as texture, you know, it's definitely gonna feel like you're like actually grabbing something. I love these heads. You know, they're for different contexts. It just depends what you want. Um, you know, for all these heads, you're gonna be able to use these in all musical aspects. There isn't a one specific type of head for one kind of thing. Now the difference here with the rawhide in comparison to the two synthetic heads that we'll be comparing is the weather differences. So these heads tend to change in pitch depending on what the weather is. So you know, if it's colder, warmer, you know, pitch might go up, it might even go down. So some folks, you know, don't want to have the hassle of just you know, having the tune, you know, throughout their gig. So raw hides might not, you know, fit you. And it really just depends on, you know, what your preference is as a percussionist and if you, you know, just want to go through that. You can find these at any music store. As far as pricing, um, it's about 40 to $50, but yeah, you could, you could find these anywhere. The second head we have here is the Remo New Skin Head. Now, this is one of my favorite synthetic heads of all time. I love this head as far as uh, tonal qualities. There's not a lot of overtones on this head at all. It's a very clear and like very, uh, very full bodied type of sound. Um, so it's great for all kinds of settings and the big, big, big plus that is gonna be for all synthetic heads, whether it's the new skin, the fiber skin or other ones, the positive with these are you do not have to constantly tune or detune them. You can tune a synthetic head and it will stay tuned forever. Um, so no matter if it's cold outside, warm outside, you don't have to worry about any of those things. So, you know, like I said, it just makes your job as a percussionist much, much, much easier. You can find these also anywhere, any music store. You can find these heads also online. Um, I'm a huge eBay user, so I tend to look there. You may have a Sam Ash local to you, a Guitar Center, you know, some of those places. You can 
do some research and see if you can find one in your local area. And price, uh, same thing, it'll be about 40 to $50, even $60, um, depending on the size of head for this. So, but you know, like raw hides, you can find these as well. All right guys, and the last one, which is what some would consider, which is like the creme de la creme, that is the Remo Fiber Skin 3. This head is unfortunately discontinued by Remo. Come on Remo, you guys have to, have to, have to bring this head back. They do not offer this in the Fiber Skin 3 form, it's just called the Remo Fiber Skin. Now this head uh, is more livelier, or in other words, it has more overtones than the new skin and also the rawhide head. It's gonna be the closest head that's gonna sound the most natural as far as uh, overtones are concerned. Same pros as far as whether uh, you can keep this head tuned, you don't have to detune it or worry about it losing its pitch throughout your gigs. Musical context, uh, also you can use this head in any musical situation. Um, you know, as I mentioned, it's really all preference. There's not gonna be a right or wrong answer. Um, you know, as far as heads that you like. Now, where to find this? This is gonna be the challenging part for you guys if you don't have one already. So, as I mentioned, I'm a huge eBay user. I would recommend checking eBay or Reverb.com. They sell all kinds of instruments. There's private sellers there. They also have uh, certain music stores or, you know, find the heads there as well. Uh, you just have to do a search and see what they have available. Price? Honestly, I have seen folks selling fiber skin literally for $100. So, you know, it can be expensive, especially if you're looking for them now that, uh, that they're discontinued. Um, I looked out and a friend of mine actually gifted me a pair of these, but um, they are expensive guys. So, you know, definitely best of luck. But if you can't find these, you got a winner. You definitely have a winner. These heads are excellent. So uh, I'm pretty sure you can tell the difference between all three of them. And there's, you know, to be honest, everyone's gonna have their own preference. There's gonna be folks that are purists that really prefer, uh, you know, rawhide skin. There's gonna be others that prefer a synthetic head, you know, whether it has more overtones or less overtones, or even something as simple as, you know, the texture of how it feels on your hands. So, you know, it just depends on what you think. So, uh, but I honestly, my personal opinion, I think all of them are great. And I think all of them can be used in, in, in different musical situations. All right, guys, there you have it. Which one did you think sound the best? Let me know down in the comments below. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell and make sure to like this video. And all right, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.